Hi guys, it's Charlie and today I'm back with a really quick book review for you. And the book that I'm going to be reviewing is What in God's Name by Simon Rich. It looks like this. I showed you this in my last haul. Um, yeah, so I'll read you the back and then I'll tell you what I thought. So it says, From the sunset's department to miracles, heaven ink has the earth covered. Unless that is, someone is away from the desk. But these days, a CEO is kind of disillusioned. God knows he should be trying to stop terrible events happening on Earth, but he finds himself watching the church channels on satellite TV. His top priority is the team of angels he's asked to get Leonard Skinner back together. Meanwhile, Eliza has been promoted to the prayers department, from the prayers department to miracles, and Craig, the only other work colleague in heaven, has to show her around. Eliza is shocked by the casual attitude of her new colleagues. And she's furious when she discovers that God has never looked at, let alone answered a single prayer. So she does something no one has ever dared to do before. And it could be the end of the world. So as it says, this book is about heaven. And in this book, heaven is a company. And God is the CEO, the manager, whatever you want to say. And he's kind of a bit of a couch potato. And he basically just sits around watching the church channels and the um, motor car racing and yeah he just watches the telly and plays golf and like doesn't really do much um, and you kind of find out early on that he's lazy and doesn't really do much and then you meet this angel called Craig who works on the miracles department and um, a new girl Eliza who is just coming up to this floor, she worked on the prayers department, she's now coming up to this floor, and it's Craig's job to show her around. And very quickly you can see the romance blossoming between them. Um, slowly, but it's blossoming between them. And um, one day Eliza is working on a miracle for a father and son who are fishing, and she's going to try and help them catch the fish in some way. And... She does something wrong and a code black comes up on her computer which basically means there's going to be like a natural disaster or whatever and this one in particular is going to be a tsunami and it says to go and tell God. So she goes up to God's um, office and she tells him and while she's in there she notices in the corner of the room this big pile of prayers. Now as I said um, a minute ago Eliza previously worked in the prayers department and she sorted out this order for prayers to go in ranging between the numbers one and seven seven are the most important ones one being the least important ones really and the pile of the prayers that are in this room are number seven and she notices that he hasn't actually read any of them and she basically says to god look if you're not going to be bothered to read these prayers or help anybody out you may as well give up on earth and he agrees with her which she doesn't expect him to do, and he basically says, yeah, I'm going to demolish Earth, and then I'm going to open a big Asian fusion restaurant. Um, so Eliza goes back to Craig, and she tells him what's happened, and he goes to see God, and he makes this deal with God that if he can answer one of the prayers, because God tells him it's really hard to answer all the prayers, and so Craig says, if I answer one prayer by the end of this month, one of the harder prayers by the end of this month, you have to not demolish earth, you have to give it another chance. So God agrees to this and they shake hands. And so Craig and Eliza set out to choose a prayer and go ahead and answer it basically. And the prayer they choose is a girl and a boy who have made the same prayer. And they are basically, they're called Laura and Sam. And the first one says, please let me and Laura be together from Sam. And the next one says, please let me and Sam be together from Laura. So they instantly know that they're in love. And so they think, okay, this maybe won't be too hard. And then the really interesting thing about this book is because it comes from different point of views, obviously, Eliza, Craig and God's primarily. But then about halfway through the book, you come to the point of views of Laura and Sam, the girl and boy they're trying to answer the prayer for. And you basically see them when they first met and you find out why they never got together then. And um, then it comes to the present day and you realise that they are two recluses that don't come out of their houses. And Eliza and Craig start to realise that 
this is going to be a harder job than they thought and they're running out of time. So Craig goes to God and he asks him if he can swap the prayer. But God says, no, you can't swap the prayer. You agree to this one. That's the one you've got to do. So they set out to answer this prayer and help these two people come together. So yeah, that's the basic gist of this book. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. I, I love the concept of this book. Um, the different take on heaven and God and stuff like that. I've never read a book like this before, so it was really nice and fresh to read something completely different. The only disappointment for me was that I, f I saw this book originally in a magazine, and it said that it was like the funniest book this year, and on the front here it says, um, I don't know if you can see it, but it says blisteringly funny, and so I was expecting to like laugh a minute, like constantly, and I... I didn't find it that funny. There were some very funny bits, but I just didn't find it half as funny as um, the reviews had kind of said it was going to be. I just, yeah, I, I was kind of disappointed on that front. But I love the concept. I love the characters. I love the fact that this book makes you think about things that have happened in your life and think maybe, you know what, maybe they did happen for a reason or maybe something was controlling the fact that that happened. It made you think a lot, this book, about what could be going on up in heaven. And, yeah, I just, I really enjoyed it. It was a really good concept of a book. Um, really light read, really good summer read. Um, and, yeah, I would recommend it. I would give it four out of five. I would just take away the one point, obviously, because the funny, funny side of it did disappoint me. But that's not a reason not to get it. I still recommend it. It's a very good read, um, especially, as I say, if you're after a light, uh, fluffy read then yeah i would recommend this book highly so yeah that is what in god's name by simon rich i hope you enjoyed this review and i'll see you in my next video bye guys